What's good YouTube? It's Dave from Creative Ice Media Group and today I'm going to do a really exciting and really quick tutorial and that is on digital bokeh. Bokeh, bokeh, I don't really know how to say it but it doesn't really matter because it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful effect and it's really fun to do and it's really useful on like computer backgrounds, iPod, iPhone backgrounds, phone backgrounds, anything you want you can use it, it's beautiful to do. So yeah, let's get at it. We're going to go file, new and we're going to do width 1920, height 1200, resolution 72. Press OK. And what we're going to do, we can hide the background layer, uh, make a new layer first, and hide the background layer. We're going to click on our ellipse tool, OK? Um, and make a medium sized circle whilst holding down Shift. To get a perfect circle with the ellipse tool, hold down Shift and just make a circle. That will give you a perfect size circle. Okay. I'm going to change the fill to 50%. Mine was already on 50 something percent. So yeah. I'm going to give it a stroke of 10 pixels. I'm going to make sure it's on the inside and the color is black. Press OK. We're going to go edit. I'm um, sorry. Yeah. We're going to press command on the PC, uh, map or control on the PC. While it's holding this down, we're going to click on the shape over here click and if I zoom in for you guys you can see the marching ants this basically means that this shape or whatever object it is is selected so once this is selected we can go edit um, oops make sure our mouse is on edit oh god I think I failed click edit deselect Try one more time. Define the rush preset. There we go. Sometimes it's a bit booky and you have to deselect and reselect it. My Photoshop's a bit bugged, so we're gonna just do um, video example and press OK. I'm gonna deselect and now we can hide our layer. We can now unhide our background layer. And while we're at it, we might as well set the color of our background. Um, what the color is is two six two six two six over here you just enter that number i just gave press ok color this in Oops. color that in and now we have our background color what we're going to do now is make a new layer and also paint it in this color we're going to go to um, effects gradient overlay and we're going to give this a gradient i'm going to double click here and Anyway, you click now underneath this gradient, it'll add another color. We need four colors in our gradient, so we're going to click two more. I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click there. Now we have four interval color changey sort of things. What we're going to do, we're going to change the colors by double clicking. And the first color is FFFF85. That's our pale yellow. I'm going to double click here. And this color is 1B D A E B. This is our nice cyan. Press OK. Double click here. Um, and it is 9B 3B 81. That's our purple. And the last color, the orange, we are going to go to do D 2 7 E 3 4. Press OK. OK. We're going to do blend mode over there. I'm going to change the angle to 45%. Press OK. Now what we're going to want to do, we're going to make all our things in a group, um, all our paint, digital bokeh in a group. So we're going to do, we're going to create a new group. Let's call this digital bokeh. Okay. And we're going to change the blend mode to color dodge. All right. Now we're going to make a new layer inside this group and we're going to click on our brush. Click on the brush that we just made. I got a few here because this is how many times I've been recording this video for you guys because I keep failing. Okay. And we're going to go to the brush preset box, which is here. If you don't have this, just go window and click brushes. We're going to change brush tip shape to spacing of. Uh, I think 200, yes, 200. I'm going to go shape dynamics, size jitter to 100, minimum diameter 50, 
gonna go scattering 1000% count 5 count just to 0 I'm gonna go to other and make sure both are on 50% once we have the following settings as I just shown we are ready to start painting our bouquet what we're gonna do is click on the white color okay because it will only work on white and we're gonna change our brush to around 500 okay and we're gonna start painting our digital bouquet okay this is our background so to make sure it's all full I kind of ruined it so I'm gonna actually start again so I don't actually like that but just make sure the whole background is full okay and we're gonna go to filter blur go same blur and we're gonna give it around 20 press ok make a new layer and make the brush on 400 do the same again uh, this time with filter go same blur go same blur but this time we're going to do four pixels press ok and again then you lay on top of that make the size around 250 and just fill in the however you want fill in the page and we're gonna go filter blur the same blur we're gonna give it a blur of one pixel that's okay zoom in to see our beautiful bouquet I mean you'll always get a different effect like for example in this tutorial I don't actually like this but if you look in example but however over here it looks quite nice the blue it just depends how you lay out your brush um, if I show you the example I made before it's actually quite nice it's just all about having fun playing with it it's really easy to make all this and that um, one quick tip if you zoom in at 100% and you have these streaks in your gradient you can fix this by going image mode and click 16 bit channel let it load and it's all gone okay and you're done so that's my tutorial for you guys. I know I haven't made a tutorial in ages. Uh, I know photo tuition was a complete fail because of technical things and oh, it's been so busy. Uh, I'm gonna have to release photo tuition later on. Sorry guys, I am really sorry. Um, a lot of technical issues happened with my laptop, with my computer and with YouTube. Uh, well, YouTube wasn't really a technical difficulty. Someone deleted the video. Um, but yeah, please comment, rate, subscribe, add me as a friend, follow me on Twitter, please, guys. Um, what else is there? Facebook group, please join that. Uh, if you want to donate, there is a link in the sidebar. I'm not, I love you lots donations. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to force you to donate, but they do. They really do help me. Um and let me just make sure there's nothing else to say what else um i think this is it i will release more tutorials more often i'm on holidays right now and i'm really busy with course work and exams um been out for three days in a row partying so yeah really tired sorry if i sound dead sorry if the um sound quality is really bad i broke my microphone so i'm using the built-in one in my macbook which is terrible so i'm gonna have to buy another mic and yeah peace people send in your requests for tutorials till next time adios don't miss me too much just take it easy and eat poo